What's up, Hans family, and welcome to Hans Ween. Hans Ween is 31 tutorials in the month of October. That means a new tutorial every single day. Sorry if you can hear my cat purring in the background. Today's look is going to be a collab with the amazing Ashley Wagner. She is the shit. Such an amazing artist, such an amazing person, and we both love WoW, so we thought, why not do a collab? She did Lady Sylvanas, and I did a gender bender of Illidan Stormrage. I'm starting off with a reference picture. There's a lot of different reference pictures of him, and he has a lot of different markings that kind of vary from game to game, but this was my favorite that I found. I'm starting out with Mayron Makeup's Lime Body Paint, and I'm drawing on his little swirls that he has on his body. I'm showing you right now the consistency that the paint needs to be. It, if you add a little bit of water and you kind of move your brush around on the paint until it gets this nice creamy consistency, you shouldn't have a problem with any streaking. Water activated paint sometimes can be a learning curve, but once you get used to it, it'll be super easy to understand what consistency works best with you so that you don't have any streaking problems. I never have a problem with these paints staining either, and I do wash them off with dish soap. Use a small brush for this so that you can really get your little details, and if you mess up, it's totally okay because we'll cover it with purple paint anyways. And now on to the purple paint, I'm using a mixture of port and light purple from Mayron Makeup. In a lot of the reference pictures and variants from game to game, he does have kind of a few different tones, so I went with kind of a maroonish purple tone instead of a cool toned. You could either go warm or cool, whichever you prefer. On the chest, I'm taking a smaller brush just so that I can get right up against those lime lines and clean them up a bit. I've used these before. This is the Krylon Clown White Cream Paint. I love putting cream paints on top of water activated paints. It really does help if you do have any streaking to really cover that. And it's great to highlight because that cream really blends beautifully onto the base that you've put down with water activated. Sometimes if you put too much water activated paints on top of each other, they can start to get kind of patchy and pull the original color upwards, but cream paint, you won't have a problem with that. This is Blanc by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I didn't want to go with complete white for this, but I am just setting all of that cream paint. Cream paints do need to be set if you are wearing this out and about, and it will also help to really intensify the color. Using Midori and Acid Berry eyeshadows from Sugar Pill and these two brushes, I am going to start adding in some shading on the green portions. These green portions are indentions in Illidan's skin, so we definitely want some dimension to show that that purple is casting a shadow into that green. The green is super neon itself and kind of smoky as this green smoke coming out of him, so we want that to have lots of different tones of green anyways to really show movement in the green. He got that fell flame, yo. Use the angle brush to go right up against the purple and the fluffy brush to blend it out. Switching to Corrupt Black Eyeshadow for Makeup Geek, I use this all the time. I'm just going to intensify some of those shadows going a little bit over the green, but we don't want to completely cover the green that we just put down. This will just help it to look very, very deep into our skin. So while we are shading, what did you guys play in World of Warcraft? I personally love my undead main rogue for the Horde, obviously. I was listening to Dr. Dre Radio during this, and damn, I was feeling it. So using Cherry Cola eyeshadow from Makeup Geek Cosmetics and the Sigma brush, I'm just going to contour my face like normal, well, kind of bringing it down a little bit to give my face kind of that hollow masculine feel, and dancing, dancing while I do it, and then just bringing the contour around my face and under my jaw, and especially underneath where I have these little frown lines on my forehead because he's he's usually a pretty angry dude, so we gotta have some frown lines. For his little blindfold dealio, I am taking black and white paint mixed together, mainly black. I didn't want it too gray, just kind of a dark gray. 
And I'm just filling that in all over my eyes, wherever I think that it would look good. And then I'm going to start adding a little bit of shading using Cherry Cola underneath that, just to show that it is popping off of my skin and it's not just part of my skin on the top and bottom around the edges of the blindfold. Intensify your little brow lines a little bit more and then I'm just adding a little bit of shadow underneath my lips. Continue this process all around your green markings. Just like how we added shadow in the green, we also now want to add shadow on the actual base of our skin. I'm also contouring my boobs because this is a gender bender Illidan. She gotta have some boobs up in this shit. And make sure to just take this Cherry Cola matte shade all around the edges of the purple that are right next to the green. Switching gears again to Corrupt Eyeshadow, that black eyeshadow we used earlier, and doing the exact same thing, just darkening up the shadows. Do it in the exact same spots, but like we did with the green, make sure not to add too much so that it overpowers the Cherry Cola shade that we just put down. Use more of that Krylon cream paint to highlight. We want to highlight right up against these green portions in a few spots just to really show that the skin is kind of lifting up because if your skin had these big indentions in them, your skin would have that little lift right before it went down into that indention. So you want to highlight that. Make sure to blend it out a little bit just so you don't have a harsh white line. At the end of this, you can see my highlights don't even look white anymore. They look more of a light pink, which is fine because we don't want just a harsh white. Darken up around your shoulders and neck because naturally the light would be hitting our chest the most. And then taking Krylon's UV yellow paint, it's like so bright yellow that it's almost this green. We want to put that in a few little highlighted spots of the green. He is fucking burning inside. He got some smoke going on, so this needs to be neon as fuck. Don't add it all over, just add it on a few little spots as an accent. For the blindfold, I want to just add in some more shadow from Corrupt underneath to show that it really is popping off of my skin, and then using Krylon's Cream Clown White Paint to start to highlight. I want this to look wrinkled because if he is having this pulled over his face, there would be lots of wrinkles in it, especially around the nose because it's not going over a flat surface. So I'm actually just adding on a few little spots where the tops of the wrinkles would show because if you are working with fabric or drawing it on, wherever the wrinkles would be, the high points where it curves upwards, there would be a bit of highlight on top of that. For the lips, I mixed Vintage and Heathers from Anastasia to get this kind of dark, maroony, purple tone, and then I am just outlining it with a little bit of black eyeshadow from Corrupt mixed with a little bit of water. Blend the black into the lipstick just to get kind of an ombre effect. Make those highlighted parts stand out even more in your green by adding a little bit of white paint from Krylon, and then I am going to pop on these two lashes top together. And now time for my horns. I made these actually from a tutorial that Ellie Mac Special Effects has done. They made these out of tin foil and then they put latex over it. I actually wrapped mine in floral tape, which worked out well and then painted it. And then I'm just putting spirit gum onto my face and gluing them on. If you do want to find out how I made these, please do go to their tutorial. It was their Satan tutorial. It was an awesome tutorial. And I will have it actually linked down below so that you guys can find out how I made these horns. If you want to as well make this look. And that's it, you guys. That's the entire look. I hope you liked my little gender bender, Illidan. I love WoW so much, and it was so awesome to talk to Ashley and find out that she loves WoW just as much as me. We're both little nerds at heart. I love it. If you guys recreate this, please use the hashtag Hanzaween so I can see. Please subscribe to my channel and check out Ashley as well, and I will see you guys tomorrow.